Hi everyone, if you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe. Push the notification bell to get notified. Hello the guys, and welcome back. Hang on. Uh, Got something a little bit interesting today that I think that you're all going to like. And this is something that's really interesting to experience within a video game. And this game is a fan-made game. It's called The Titanic. From the information I've read, it's a fan-made game. And we're going to be basically experiencing... As close so as possible like, comment, to what the Titanic Push originally looked like in a video game a perspective. On YouTube. Again, I don't know how this is going to be, I've literally not experienced this yet myself. Demo All you know reaction. is from the people that have this one's like, a lot experienced it already, they've the said that this I is to. amazing. It's really detailed and stuff, so... I'll be with you guys in a minute. Just going to do me some of the drink again. It's going to be interesting to check out, okay? But if you do want to go away with yourself, already, if you're new, I will leave a link down below. If you're into Titanic, you yeah, yourself, go and okay? watch back the other Titanic videos that have done this part. And also, I will put the people who have made this game as well down below in the description. And a short trip to docks where I board the ferry to Dublin, then the long train ride to Ireland to Belfast. Not a bad ride, but excruciatingly long. Check in at the guest house in the town proper, quick supper, quick sleep, quick breakfast, and a hop on the local train here to the Holland Bull shipyard. Fortunately, it was punctual. I was worried about being tardy from reading three hours early. My darling Claire always said to me, Robin, you'd better get out of the house right now and go be useful to someone. She always did lovingly encourage me to show up to work early and give my best help. So it was a good thing then. So one thing I've noticed straight off the bat though is that things are really detailed. Like you can see on the wa waters and stuff, how it's been torn a little bit, and I'm liking the graphics. Titanic is likely no different from the Olympic. Their structure is identical. The Olympic underwent these trials months ago, so this should be a simple repeat. I board, observe her during the sea trials, vote aye or nay on her certification, and then I ride her back to Southampton. Come on, Robin, you can't mess this one up, as Claire always told me. No, we don't want to be messing nothing up. Very beautiful graphics, so. though. Right, so now we're playing, boys, we're playing. Right. All I know is that we need to somehow board the um, board the ship. Just need to make sure I can figure out the controls because obviously uh, I am playing this on a keyboard and mouse on PC. And now I've been given the opportunity to board the Titanic Advanced Patrol. This gives me a bit of time to really admire the beauty of the ship before I have to scrutinise every last aspect of the functionality. Right, so we need to try and find a way around to that ship. I'm assuming that we need to go all the way around. A bit of the long way. I suppose there isn't reason for too much haste. No one else has even arrived yet, it seems. Plenty of time to explore the fire design. So this was a good idea. I'm quite surprised. Now, I mean, I've never thought in my mind that... She's not even certified yet, and her first ticketed voyage is just a week from now. No room for failure on these trials, I suppose. It's like getting dressed up for a date when you haven't even begun your courtship yet. How do you know if you'll be rejected or not? I learned that one the hard way. Oh, down. As I was saying, guys, um, it's like experiencing something once in a lifetime. Because obviously, for the people out there that know, that know that ha what happened with the Titanic many years ago, it's... You know what I mean? It's an interesting topic to many people, and it's one of them things. I never thought there'd be like a video game perspective of it. Obviously, the closest thing that we've seen to a Titanic form of experience. And the morning fog. It reminds me of what I always imagined Puget Sound would be like. A man sure can make a living out in Seattle if he can hold off the plane. As I was saying, um, I see it as the closest experience that we've seen to the Titanic, in, like, in my opinion, is Voyage of Despair, which is a zombies map from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. But other than that, 
I, I've never Jet seen this guy right? in a video game. So as soon as I heard about this game, I was like, I need to download it. I need to check it out, see what it's all about. I looked at some reviews and what some people have been saying about it. They said it's pretty interesting. You get to proper explore and stuff. And I'm thinking, wow, it'll be amazing. This game will come out eventually. Should be a way around somewhere. I'm hoping there is anyway. It will come out eventually. You can't jump or nothing, guys. So you have so to keep telling yourself. It's kind of. Uh, so I've been telling myself actually. Bomb, so it, can't it will come out eventually. It's just going to take in real, time. In real life, I haven't obviously finished you could, it yet. It would be a video game. They can't make it too easy. So I'm going to. This video I'm wrapped into is not that old. It's only a year old. Like I said, guys, I'll leave a link to it link down below in the description. It's free to play. Just go yeah, to, it's uh, free to play. PC to run it. And then um, I will obviously credit the developers. If you want to play it yourself, well. I'm so terrible you go to a Titanic. HTHD.com. Well. Creating such an amazing website. Titanic experience. The demo I can't wait will to be on there. It's only oh, PC it's compatible. Just, it's going to be awesome. From the article I read. So you will be able to play. I feel the same way right now too. Thank you. <laughs> Can we move him out of the way? From the article and stuff that I read about this game and the brief that I read off people who like chatted on this little forum thing about this game. It said that you can explore the ship, you can go in many different places and everything looks so great on the ship. And obviously, if you played um, Voyage of the Spare, the zombies map inside Black Ops 4, you kind of know some of the areas, you recognize some of them. Um, but obviously, it's it's interesting, boys. You know what I mean? It's very interesting. And then probably have said they're going to leave some references like, I don't know if there's anything the else we can do well. other than explore on this ship. I don't know if there's any objectives or anything we can do or... Easter eggs or anything. And Easter eggs as well. I'm just more than happy to be able to just explore, you know what I mean? But I think there must be another way onto the ship there because yeah. that area is all blocked off, so yeah. I'm assuming there might be another way on. But let me know down, down below in the comment section, guys. Have you um, experienced this already before or would you like to experience it? What do you, what's your overall thoughts and opinions of this um, Titanic experience? Like, I think it's... I think it's beautiful. I think it's a really, really good work of art and... I'm hoping yeah, they're working more incredibly like hard on it. Forward in the future. They'll be working on it the right Titanic now. Titanic or something else that's like historical. For some of you that are wondering you know, how I know, it's just the feeling I get. Experience for certain things, like you know when you get an instant feeling like something's going to happen, it's similar to that. It's like you're getting, you have a feeling, it's just a feeling I'm getting. Uh, because I'm a, I'm, I'm a type of guy that likes um, history and stuff. Yeah, and I'm that. That's, that's, you know... Yeah, I'm like that guy as well, that the guy talking. Past, so I love history myself, that's my favourite though, person at school. I play a lot of war video games and stuff, like mainly with, you know, with Call of Duty and stuff. Um, I, I do have a relative like that fought, fought in the war, the so great 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 fought in the war, he fought in the sun, he got gassed as well. If you haven't seen that video, me talking about his story, my grand you know his story, go and check that video out. If you want to know about the full story, or anything, and just be able to walk around and check the place out and stuff. So it's totally interesting and worth watching. So if you're a developer out there that makes that sort of stuff, hit me up, okay, because... I'm down for it, okay? You're down for checking stuff out. And obviously with my second channel, guys, and it just makes me so happy so I can just ex Comment down below what, more if cool you're into the you Titanic, comment down below what, out in many ways what started your interest possible. in the Titanic. For me, it would have, I watched, no, for, for me, I watched, it would have to be the James Cameron's film, Titanic. That's what started me interested in the Titanic. This makes me so happy. Watching James oh, yeah, Cameron's film, though. Titanic, got me into the Titanic. Well, actually, this is actually really interesting. Actually, daft as it sounds, my sister, my um, sister Kate didn't know Titanic was real. 
So when I was li- this was this was when I was little. As well, guys, so I told you, you know, about Titanic was lost. This shit, man. This shit, is it? Well, look, she looked up on. Go, looked up on Google research and wonders, trying to find Titanic, Titanic, Titanic and that you found photos of the wreck. I've always known Titanic was real. And I just want to know your thoughts and opinions, what you're thinking of it. If you are enjoying this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'd really, really appreciate it. Yep. And uh, turn on the post Subscribe to this man as well. Notify you and upload any new content in the near future. We just gone. Welcome to Demo 3. Subscribe to more Aaron Cooper if I said his name right. Press T to toggle black and Some white. of you wondering, I'm, um, I am literally a hopeless my name. Demo, please consider I'm hopeless my name. Some of you that are uh, wondering. Titanic HG. Titanic HG. Com. Through Scotland Road on Heathrow. I believe I'm boring you before anyone else. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be um, surprised if the the actual Titanic Museum in America was haunted because of the <laughs> artifacts. Right, there is those passengers from the uh, tenders at Cherbourg and Queenston aboard the Titanic with us when they listened off their locations first class and uh, on the What's good about these info boxes because it tells you a lot of Info as well, which is which are actually oh, interesting. Yes. Northern Ireland. Um, what I'm going to do as well, if there's plenty of these note things, I will read some of them out. Um, but obviously, if you see these sorts of notes popping up on some the screen, you, got um, you can also pause the video at any point. Like if you want to White Starline sure the game is going to give you and Cunard. Areas and I, White Starline have joined Cunard to make a company you know, called uh, White. No, is it? Actual things that happened back Hang on, then. I'm trying to explain so the best as sort of thing, Cunard read and White home, Starline. I've joined well, together to make a company well, called Cunard Line. You, know, this, if you get what I mean. My dad told me this cup some time ABC ago. So it's something that's always puzzled me. So my dad okay. told me that that um, White Starline, so White Starline, have joined like it's really, like really nice graphics. Cunard to make a company called Cunard Line. Line. So that's for some of you that are wondering. Open by so, the officer. So I said to him, "So is White Starline still around?" Then he says, "Yeah." Intention of well, leading lifeboats through them. However, no lifeboats well, were thrown to them, and they were past them. Is that basically what I've been told? This is actually pretty good. But yeah, I see it is not the best when it comes to reading, but so I, I will do my best with it. My okay. speech is terrible, is, guys, I thought I'll let you know. I should just bear with me. Because obviously English and stuff at school and stuff back in the day, guys, was, wasn't my best subject, but I do try my best with these things. Got to think, um, One school, of the people I'm many, really, many, many years really close was. friends with called John... What was his name? Well, field officer said his name right. He's Rapids actually met Eva Hart. Deck reception room. He was only this seven room, first class passengers would meet before entering the dining saloon. He told me himself. After dinner, tea and light fare uh, fare would be. I'm not so uh, sure about the air, but I'll have to check with him. Okay. We'll have to check with John Caulfield. I think it was. I can't remember. I can't pronounce his second name, but I know what I'm on about. Like he's actually met like, Eva Hart, he's so really, really he's into the Titanic himself. Beautiful. I actually um, t- sent him, uh, told Voyage him about the Titanic Honor and Glory like YouTube you channel and about this game, the room, Titanic Honor and Glory, and making the game called Titanic Honor and Glory. It's still being made in that. I said to him, do to send you the YouTube channel? First Class Dining Saloon, Basically, the First Class Dining Saloon was introduced. And I sent him the YouTube channel via Messenger. Totally worth. Turkey. This is totally worth watching. Um, like the gameplays of people playing the demo. I love it. I just love it. For breakfast during the ice. I like how Honor and Gloria recreate Titanic inside and out via video okay. game. That's what they do. They created a video well, game. The this, this is what it is, as you can tell. The writing as well. they're, they're still in the middle of making it. Here's one of them. What you have to keep telling oh, yourself, things. it will be. I want to do more exploring. It I will be really hard to put it. I'll probably put you know what I mean because I said it earlier in the video. French, it will be uh, done eventually. That's what I meant. Tapestry, 
woven by. Well, some of you uh, would, 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 would obviously know that I do have autism, which is true. I legit do have autism. That's in the case some of you are wondering what I mean. So I'm That's wrestling China tonight so as well. <laughs> From about 8 till 10 wow. at night. So I won't, I'll get back about home about But made such a, a really beautiful game here. Like, I really so like I'm going to go straight to bed after that. Imagine I'm going to be up to thing. much today, to be honest. Oh, look at this. I like the info boxes, it's telling you a lot of info, like, yeah, but can you imagine, like, as you can um, tell, yeah. all these seats would have passengers and stuff on it, guys, and I would, I'd be cool if they had a feature in this game, like, where you could turn on passengers and they make loads of AI sitting at tables and stuff, eating food, or... That they big, like, waiters, know, you know, that table in the middle I'm pointing at. No, if I, if maybe that you can check out sorry, rooms I'm and just stuff trying as well, to like, um... You know, like rooms like dormitory rooms where people used to stay oh, yeah. on and stuff. That would be amazing. I'll show you the table I'm on about. Oh, I'll just wait waiting room to turn to it. You see that table in the middle, that big table? You saw a quick glimpse of That's the table the captain usually sits at. Okay, okay. Oh. I think the first there thing I'd related to Titanic... Have made when I started game, to get into, so into the like ship, interested in the ship, I'm interested in sure I think it's this like box set you can get with all. Down it's like a documentary with thing, it's got eight discs on. in it. There's the one, Last Mystery, I forget some of the others that are on it. I just want to do loads of exploring. Mystery, and the, the other one's Mystery Begins, it's got all eight discs, which. All eight discs in it, so. And. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look. You can actually buy it still. That's the case, you know what I mean? The one I had had very thin, like... Um... How do I put it? Basically, we can't like, go in there. Like a... Well, I, I can't put it correctly, but you probably get oh, okay. the idea. Major Arthur Poochin. The case with the disc was Canadian. quite... Yuck. Like the one I had when my mum got okay. me. It was quite... Like thin DVD uh, case cover is what I meant. Adolf. With the Salford, Southfield, and the chemist and perfume sales. So you can still buy so like must um, be the rooms where people were staying. In. You could still buy the um, uh, John Edward like eight set and that. Middle if you haven't got it, it's right. I recommend you yeah. like getting it. So right. Watch. Um, it's like a eight disc documentary port. type of box set on based on the Titanic. The one I uh, John, the one uh, documentary Maria I love. Thayer, I love VP of as well. As, Basically, Last Mysteries okay. for Titanic, which that documentary is on YouTube. It's basically um, James Cameron dive into the wreck uh, for the last time. Okay, so you can do that on there as well. Uh, Jack Thayer. Margaret, Margaret um, Fleming, Maid to Miss Thayer. So this is the maid to the other two people um, that were not long just gone past. Charles and Anna Stagall. So if you haven't played this game already, I recommend you play it, so it's totally worth it. I love Titanic in general, it's just such an amazing It's just such an amazing subject to talk about and that. I've, if I come across any news about the Titanic, I will let you guys know. I haven't come across any news about the Titanic yet, so... Dr. William and Lillian Manahan. With William's sister Daisy, the former surgeon in Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Wisconsin. I think that's alright. Emily Giger, made to miss. This is totally Rayford. worth playing if you haven't played it already. Wow, I'm so terrible at pronouncing these names. George and Eleanor Widener. So that must be the maids that we just come past. Uh, Widener University in Philadelphia. Okay. What if these actually were real people? Edwin Keeping. I'm probably sure they are. Servant to. Edwin Keeping, servant to. Um, got Harry Widener. Harry Widener. Uh, Philadelphia's Widener Memorial Library. Memorial dedicated Library dedicated to him. Dedicated to him. Okay. Interesting. This is actually really interesting. There's so many rooms and stuff. So. Oh, let's have a look at this one. 
Maids and Val left to adventure. You get the idea. Walter uh, and Walter May. and Mahala Douglas, Mahala executive Douglas of the executive. Quaker Oats. Yep. What he said. Berthy, Leroy, and Augusty, Sarah, Sarah, Plan, May, maids, maids to, Mr. to Mrs. Douglas and, Douglas and Mrs. Carter. Man, these people have maids and everything. But do I get a maid whilst I'm on the ship? If so, I'd like a nice cup of tea and everything. Doctor and Dr. Field. Henry and Claire. Chronic Fertinella. Fertinella? I can't pronounce that. Doctor in the field of um, chronic joint diseases. Okay. Chronic joint diseases, I should say. Uh, Madame de Villas. Alas, of. Uh, oh, I'm saying this secretly engaged a passenger, uh, Quig Baxter. Okay. <laughs> okay. First class barbershop. Your passengers could get a shave and a haircut and buy souvenirs. So basically, what is outside? They're just basically tie tanks like barbers, which is known for a hair, haircut, hair, get your hairdressers. That's where you would, if you're on Titanic. If you wanted an air cut, that's where you would get your air cut. <laughs> this is the restaurant reception room. There's, that's the info about it. After dinner music from the ship's trio and had coffee and refreshments. Oh, nice. I know he was literally oh, about to go on the grand staircase. Pretty tight today as well, guys. As well. The actual main part of the. He's on the grand staircase, isn't it? He's on the grand staircase now, so he's about to go into Francis, Francis, Brownie. Francis Brownie's room. Francis Brownie's room. Until he departs from Queenstown Island. Island. At least he didn't. At least he was a part of the full voyage. But if he was, it wouldn't have ended well for him. These rooms look uh, If you get better. what I mean. Nice. Fresh and clean as well. Back then, nice clean room. like the rules were. Can you imagine different. cleaners on the ship? Like back then, it was women and children. But now, the rules have changed completely. It's like women, children, men, you get the idea. That, that. Right. First the women and room, children and men. Men to smoke, That's drink, the, gamble, and talk business. Well, the rules are different yeah, now the than they were back then. Smoke and. If that makes any sense. Mark. That's basically a treat for a man talk, talking business. You get the idea of smoking. It's basically a first class okay, so smoking this room. It's like a room where they just go gamble, drink, and have a chit chat about things and do their own thing. So, um, that's the first class smoking room, as I said just now. It's a pretty big room, I think. The Adec Promenade. You can't go on it in the demo, but I guarantee you 100% you will be able to go on it, the Adec Promenade, when the full game is released. We'll read some of the notes every now and then. The lounge. And then another entry stage. That is the in the way to land as well. In front. Playboard games to socialise in a room resembling a great palace in France. Okay. Well, look at that. It's really beautiful though, guys. I'm loving the music as well they got for the background. Yeah, I like the music. It's, it's really nice. It's very smoothing. Yeah, and relaxing. That's what... I can imagine that they probably had this sort of music on the real thing as well. Yeah, they would actually. So, um, that's just the calf area. I can't pronounce the, that this bit. Is designed to resemble I can't pronounce that bit. In France, complete with I can pronounce the first bit, uh, but it is a calf, to seat calf as well. To the seat air, I wonder what remains of it on the right. Pastries served by an authentic French waiters who were indeed actually. I like the music. I think you, there is a way of <laughs> All right. finding the music. That's the puzzle. Cool. There's a YouTuber. I just love you though. Like, Hugo, I imagine the ship what was it? Got some, like, really Hugo nice something. Place. I can't remember. Hugo's I'll have to look like that up. My memory's not brilliant. So Hugo, the Hugo, there's a YouTuber called Hugo. He uploaded the music really for this demo. 
on his YouTube Excuse channel. Use this in real life, like. So there is why I find that yeah. Titanic on Honor and Glory Ambience music. That's how I find it. <laughs> That's how I found found the um, music as well. Recess for coats and hats. Um, oh, this is the um, main. This is the restaurant area where you would. Yeah, you get the uh, probably get the idea. Or, this is where you would. This is the. This is basically. Restaurant, unlike the first class dining saloon of the D deck, during in, uh, dining in this restaurant is not included in the standard passenger ticket. So and this is basically the um, passengers may order the. The I like a tea restaurant. I'm not confident. I've said that okay, bit so right. Wasn't the ticket? You'd have to obviously. That was just pointing a little bit more, that. but. It's nice. It's a, hang on, so right? the restaurant I'd, and I'd pay first. pantry gal so the restaurant gallery. The pantry and the gallery. Just trying to get my words right. I don't think there's any other doors in this room that we can. Uh, well, only, the only doors all like, around in, but I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's really good. It'd be good if you could see your own reflection as well, but unfortunately, so that's actually you can't pretty it's interesting. Like, uh, tech demo. If you're into history, well, like then I said, uh, from the video. This, then you get into Titanic, and this what is you, what do you think of this? Like, have you ever experienced anything like this before in a video game? And if you would like more things like this in the future, then let me know down below in the comment section, okay? Because I, I think Hollow and Glory like did do a Titanic game as well. It's beautiful, you know what I mean? It's a beautiful work of art, and so the, you can it was play just, it. There's it was calling out to on the let's leave first. Oh, first class to try and figure out the personal. Area. It's available, the Britannic Prince game Holland Glory did, but it's not the main project, but uh, you can play it, it's on the Steam gaming, Steam. you get the idea. Let's get down here, see where this leads to. Alright. So, um... Just to get Jill as an editor, okay. Margaret Graham and Elizabeth uh, Schutz. It's totally worth it, this is. And then it's an American novelist. Okay. Hmm. Walter, Walter and Virginia Clark. Virginia okay. Clark. Edith Graham. See, if I was on this sort of ship in real life, I'd probably be lost. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd yeah, I probably would be as well. If I was on the Titanic, I didn't models. know my way around. I'd Ultimate probably end up asking someone. Uh, it's easy to get so lost on them sort of ships like the Titanic. Roughly. Unless you know your way around. Uh, if I was needing to see a surgeon, the ship's, uh, the sh ships. Uh, Sorry, the I got me word wrong. The ship surgery is what I meant. Alright, let's see what's down here. Assistant, assistant Dr. Surgeon, Dr. John, you get the idea. Restaurant manager, restaurant manager Luigi Gatti. Yeah, as he mentioned, chief steward, um, chief steward Andrew, Andrew Lam Lamatine, Lamatine. Yep, Lamatine. The second oh, class man. promenade. I'm trying my best though. Okay. Um. Well, look at this. Carl Burr, if I'm right. Carl Burr for American. I don't know if I've said his surname well, really right. Well, guys. But I've literally had four, four or five hours sleep earlier on. Austin Partner. Man, my body's feeling this. is one of, the, uh, one of the campuses just, can go to Austin Partner. I just want to have like, a day where I can just chill and make videos and stuff. Because I'm off work today, so I thought to myself, I'm going to chill and make some videos. And first I class, me time. play a bit of Call of Duty later on and just relax, and then have a good sleep. I'm thinking I have like an early night tonight and sleep and then feel refreshed. And then from here back cabin. to tomorrow, so that's why I'm feeling a bit tired because it is one of the, one of the corridors like, you I was can go, go again. yesterday leading into this morning on the demo and before and game. It does get released this video. before game. You know I mean, because I work uh, nights like until six o'clock in the morning, so. It's one of them, but today's my day off, so I've had a couple Mrs. of days, and I've just not the most amount of sleep, but I need to, you know, and then there's a lot of names. Later on. Some of them I have trouble pronouncing. Okay. This guy can pronounce them better than I can. Hmm. 
misses and I'm not sure how many floors and everything there is when it comes uh, to this ship or if there's any other additional areas where we can explore. Can't pronounce that. I'm gonna try my best guys to explore as much as I possibly can. Me spelling and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be four parts of the ship which I'm not gonna Mr. be able to explore, but I will try my best to Thornton Davidson, explore as much as possible. If I've said that right. I'm just hoping as well. Um, for the developers out there, if you do see this video, I just want to say you've done an incredible job with this. Like, I think it's... I, really I can beautiful. agree with him on that one. You can tell you put a lot of time and a lot of hard work into it. And yeah, it'll take a I'm lot I'm grateful of that Mr. I've got Richard experience. May and like, I've got the experience to try this out and experience it's it totally myself worth, And worth be able to it. share it with others because... It's so beautiful, Mr. and, Mrs. and all Charles, I can say is if I have to rate what you've done with Mr. this game, Charles, um, uh, Hayes, I'd, I'd rate it 11 out of right. 10 because it's just so good. I'll rate this game a 100 out of 100, I, mean, I love it that it's, much. It's Mr. Richard Frey. And I wish there yeah, I mean, I, I I was an opportunity at some point in the near future where I could... Maybe just one day go and see something that looks almost identical to this. It, you know what I mean? I wish I could see what the real Titanic looked like. I think that's what the Titanic 2 will be answering that question. What the Titanic the original ship would have looked like. Second closest experience I would say is Voyage of Despair from 1984. Yeah, Voyage of Despair. 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 Question, that question. I'm just going to show you what the original ship would have looked like. I don't agree with it. I just hope there's like but I understand really cool why. In there as well. so, cool. There's something like some inside really cool me I understand why they're doing it. But I don't agree with it. But if you could add like a feature in it that had like passengers on it, like AI characters, just basically doing actual Ruth, things. I'm showing you what the Titanic 2 showing you what the original good. ship would have looked like. Turn on or turn off. I don't well, agree with it, though. Because it'd just, just be good to see what people would have been doing, you know what I mean? Like Mr. Thomas going to sleep was, or is one of the people on the ship. Dining area right. or something. The original just so you can get that extra bit of a feeling like what it would Ward, be like. Wardley but, Card. I don't know, that's just something Dizer. I would recommend. But if you have any Mrs. suggestions Anne or any Ward. ideas on what you would like to see with this game, drop them in the comment the section. Cardiff, and if you want, guys, if you do have any ideas... Uh, on what sort of games you would like to experience here on the channel when it comes to this sort of thing. If I'm there, maybe you want me to try and find uh, a game that shows the Twin Towers or something, or, I don't know, an historical battle or something to do with uh, World War One or something, or something like that. Boarding entrance. Drop them in the comment section, okay? And if you are a guy that's, or a developer that makes them sort of things and you've got a project that you would like me to make a video on, Hit me up, okay? Because I'm down for the sort See of thing. Because I like to explore and experience these sorts of things. And if I can make a video on it, it's even better. You know what I mean? Quarry office. This, I don't know. It wasn't one of those guys. Be with you, I tell me, I'll be honest. Guys, reviews about this. I was thinking, okay, it's it's probably gonna have some good oh, reviews. I had to it's put the good. cut a lot of my money in there. Really details would be nice. So I'm okay, carry on with the other areas and. After this video, I'm going to go and hop around. It's going to be pretty interesting, very similar to the actual thing, but that's the Persia's office. I've never experienced it well. like this, which is inside of the. It's a masterpiece. There's a lot like it's little. So beautiful. So, I'm double spelling it now. There's like a little jump scare as well. So far, I think I've checked all the floors. I think there's like one or two more floors I need If to you people know what I mean, you'll know. Play I'm this and go down. Had that. Had, I can't even say it. Yeah, let's go down. I can't even get the word out right. Um, right there. I'll, when it comes um, to me, I'll say it, but I'm having trouble explaining it at the here. moment. Yeah, we've read that before. Yeah, I've been on the D-Debt before. Uh, right, that's how we get off the ship. So this is where we came in. 
So what I need to do now is, I think I need to go down even further because I've been up the other floors, we've been all the way up to A deck. So this is the E deck now. These, this area down here I have not explored yet, so this is the way to the first class cabins on the E deck and Scotland Road, further down at the back facilities. I'll fill down all the back facilities. Oh, good. Bring these bodies in a minute and get the bed in. Um, okay. Then get the bed. I'll fill the bed That's a long way up. It's pretty mad. This way to Scotland Road. Through dormitories and the third class dining saloon. This is the... Okay, Scotland Road. This is the Scotland the Road as well. Many crew of the early wine Named after the street in Liverpool. Scotland Road is the main access passage for the crew and the third class passengers. It ran the length of the ship along the port side, although what is featured here is, on, is only one section near the middle of the ship. Okay. This is that is you can mad. Here well see half the length of the ship in this corner. This is not so for sure. Okay. That's mad. Boiler room four. That's a boiler room. Okay, so Boiler room three. Boiler room three. The staircase down there. Not sure where that leads Third to. Third class but dining saloon. Third class dining saloon. Okay. So I'm sure that takes me down to the saloon area. Which I'm going to check out, don't worry guys. So we'll boiler back room try and check two. It out. I just want to explore as much as I can, show you as much as this ship as I possibly can. I know there's going to be some areas locked off that I can't go, maybe they haven't made the full assets of them parts of them areas yet, yeah, or maybe they locked them off for reasons or something, I do not know, but I'm assuming that the parts of the game that haven't been finished yet, so they just think it's easier just to lock them off, so then we can't go there in case there's bugs or any corruptions or crashes or anything, but either way, I'm happy with the sort of things that we've seen so far, because there's just so, so much to look at, like there's so much detail. And with how the graphics look to this, it's, it almost feels yeah. like I'm, I was, I'm here right now. This room is where the third class passengers, primarily single men and men travelling in groups and dine. As a safety precaution, single men were segregated from families and women and children and were quartered in the forward section of the ship. This is the F deck. Okay. This is... Pretty mad, boys. Look at this, though. Do I get any food while I'm here? This is a really, really big area. Okay, we just, uh... There you go. So the picture I've seen you guys, well. Look at that, though. There's loads of seats here. Millions of them. This just goes on and on and on forever. <laughs> right. Um, nowhere else we can go. Since we went this way, let's look down the far end, the other side, because obviously I didn't, we didn't fully really, like, explore down that area. I'm pretty sure you can go into one of the. Like. Alright, let's, let's go down here. You can go into boiler room 6 if I'm correct. Yeah, we've read that. Crew dormitory, now iconically referred to as the, referred as the glory holes by crew members at the time due to their often terrible conditions on other ships. These rooms full of bunks were where most of the crew called, called home for the duration of their voyage. So basically this is where most of the people stayed. And like, they were on this deck area. That's where the crew it's would just sleep. Just like brief there, that's what you can see, like, like basically bunk beds. Crew. Pretty sure maybe uh, you and your siblings, maybe brothers or sisters, probably have a bunk beds at, at home or something, guys. Or you ever been on a day trip with school or something, or with someone like Stanley Head or something? Can't pass up this opportunity for a little adventure. Oh, Claire, we're here now to see me being so daring. 
This is the bo one of the boilers and you can go in. I want to see where these lead to. I've got a feeling I'm not supposed to be here though, so... Where are the workers though? Well, I suppose they're likely firing up the other boiler. Room. That's one of there's a reference in this area uh, as well. Twenty nine to have water like an untamed beast. I anxiously await their performance during the sea trial shortly. Finally free and not held back from anything. No Mr. Tuntry in sight. Just freedom. This is absolutely brilliant. This is mad. Around here. Yeah, I've got buckets in the way there. Can we go the other way? Oh, I don't think you can. Let's see where this leads. So, see if we can go around to the oh, side. Maybe a side of it. Yeah, they've got buckets again locking got it on. Buckets up. blocking the one. Pretty much one, one of the boiler part. rooms, that's what it looks like. You can go up here a bit. Where's the god there? It's incredibly damn high. Oh, I want to keep going all the way to the very top. Here. Climbing too high, I think. No, Robin, it's not your time to get your angel wings just yet. No, not just yet. Picture there as well. I guess it's one of the workers who look at his photo and maybe have another drink from time to time. Maybe it's a loved one that they left back at home or something. Who knows? It's a mystery that we'll never know. Well, it was a frisbee then, or something. <laughs> this open space looks like a fine spot for gathering and living. Yeah, I agree with them on that one. Make their journey across the park to the new world. Perhaps a place on the west coast, like, like sea. So yeah, hopefully you're all enjoying the video guys. So if you are, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. We would really, really appreciate it. So the post notification icon, notify you will not load any new content in the nearby future. Grand Staircase like up this and then let me know. Um, this is the F deck, it's the lowest deck of the Grand Staircase. This is, there are no first class cabins on this ship, on this deck area, sorry. And um, apart from the floor of the squash court, no first class facilities. This way to the plunge bath swimming pool, a watertight door in the beyond. This is what, what the, the um, uh, I don't know. Okay. Machines for this part of the ship, this room, but that room particular the ship is in, that's what, what it would have looked like <laughs> on okay. the actual ship. It's what the Turkish bass would look like. It's a beautiful game, though. I, I don't know if I've explored everywhere yet. Turkish bath, cooling rooms. It's richly a pointed rooms is where passengers will go to cool off after a uh, rigorous bath session, basically. Locker and then Locker. Uh, changing stalls. Changing the stalls. Please contribute to. Or it's at www.titanichg.com Very nice little sneaky little message to put on the mirror there. Loving it. Electric bath. And this is the electric bath. That's the only one Titanic actually had. And I believe I see a sliver of the plunge bath as well. Hmm. And I'm guessing down here this is where some of the rooms are. I to be caught back here in such a cramped cubby. Walls bearing down on you like all your troubles, hopes, and deep desires you dare not dwell upon. I well, was so that we had the. Fingers crossed we had the A deck or something. Who knows? Well, pretty much, guys. We've kind of explored everywhere falls I'm aware of, and I don't think there's anywhere else we need to explore, but. Explore quite a bit. Just going a little quick little detour on the ship. Please contribute to our efforts at www.titanichd.com forward slash contribute. So obviously that we will leave that website as a link in the description as well. So in case you do want to contribute to their efforts, 
Um, but like I said, guys, I just want to say thank you to the developers for making this great, awesome piece of art and just yeah, I, I thank them as well. So trust me, I've had a lot of fun with this. It's very such basic. an amazing ship, and, and they're yeah, going to continue with it. No objective or then an exploring. So it's absolutely but amazing. It's amazing. It shows you, you as know well what I mean? The, the graphics are great. And I, feel, I generally feel like this is what the Titanic would have been completely like. And I just wish that the add a feature into it at some point in the near future where you can have like AI characters going around and doing what people would have done on the Titanic just to experience what it'd be like seeing other people on this place. But other than that, I really, really enjoyed this. So, like I said, I will leave a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and check out the game. If you do want to contribute to it, I will leave the link with the website down below as well. And also, we'll be crediting the developers um, in the description as well, guys. Because obviously, I'm really terrible at remembering names, so it's easy for me to obviously give them a, a thank you in the description. Because I see it as they've made such an amazing experience here. Well, obviously, like I said, if you do want to see these sorts of things, more of these sort of things in the near future, then you got to let me know down below in the comment section. And like I said throughout the video, if you are a developer yourself um, who makes these sorts of things, like fan-made projects and stuff like that, then if you have any projects you would like me to try out, let me know, hit me up with them, and I'm down for it, okay? But I think we have um, explored everywhere, as far as I'm aware of. I don't think we've missed anything. To try and get back to the starting point. I think it's somewhere down here. I know it's somewhere around here somewhere. See, even I'm getting lost. <laughs> it's just so big. The area is. Uh, I think it was. Uh, 